Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of October 14, 2022. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy real estate sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $39.59. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. AOG Resources was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that AOG Resources is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 7.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $129.33. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $120.57, unless it's undervalued. Exxon Mobil Corporation was a previous suggested butterfly option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Philips 66 Company is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $95.19 but we expect a possible buy price of $94.97. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Philips 66 company, if it is below 1.40% of your stock price trade. Valero Energy was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Charles Schwab. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $73.36. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Bank of America. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 8.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $31.3. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0. Charles Schwab was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. 
real estate sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $199.44. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell out by incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $141.39. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0. As by Incorporated was a previous suggested iron condor option, today, we suggest to sell it. Amgen Incorporated was a previous suggested iron condor option, today, we suggest to sell it. Medtronic PLC is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $84.64. But we expect a possible buy price of $82.8. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Medtronic PLC. If it is below 0.65% of your stock price trade. Moderna Incorporated was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Lockheed Martin. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $404.81. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Caterpillar Corporation is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $180.21. But we expect a possible buy price of $179.12. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Caterpillar Corporation. If it is below 1.45% of your stock price trade. General Electric was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Material sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $144.75. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell.
let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Tesla Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $239.46. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell McDonald's. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $242.77. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.84. Amazon Incorporated is a mild B suggestion. It is on a trade high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 6.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $115.13, but we expect a possible buy price of $109.87. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Amazon Incorporated if it is below 3.30% of your stock price trade. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of staples sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Costco wholesale. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $464.19. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Costco Wholesale was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Costco Wholesale is a very low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of minus 0.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $478.12. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $454.65, unless is undervalued. Kraft Heinz Company was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Technology Sector ETF was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Technology Sector ETF is a bare low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 8.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $126.37. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $116.8, unless it's undervalued. Let's look at the stock's table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy advanced micro devices. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $64.55. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Qualcomm Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Qualcomm Company is a bare low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buy return of 2.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $112.51, but we expect a possible sell price of $114.37. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $109.95, unless it's undervalued. Communication Sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. 
Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy T-Mobile US. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $134.32. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF was a previous suggested butterfly option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Let's look at the stock's table of utility sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Nextera Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $76.89. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Duke Energy was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Southern Company was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Bitcoin was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Bitcoin is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 4.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $20,059, but we expect a possible sell price of $205 to $3. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $18,890, unless it's undervalued. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. There is a mild opportunity to buy Litecoin. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 14.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $51.82. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Cosmos. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $11.52. Cosmos is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bare normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.5%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $11.52, but we expect a possible sell price of $13.14. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Cosmos, if it is over 0.00% of your stock price trade. Monero was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Monero is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $147.47, but we expect a possible sell price of $149.84. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $140.23, unless is undervalued. NEO was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that NEO is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 7.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $8.28, but we expect a possible sell price of $8.91. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $7.74, unless it's undervalued. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. 
please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Rating video. Bye.